out of America and patriot or traitor. That is the argument that has been raging in the United States after an interview with the computer analyst Edward Snowden. He leaked US intelligence information, but in the interview he insisted he was a patriot. During the course of it, he managed to persuade people watching at home. Our Washington correspondent Robert Moore was watching too. He lives in the shadows in Moscow. A high-tech American spy forced to rely on the Kremlin's goodwill to keep him out of a U.S. courtroom. But Ed Snowden has now emerged to make a pitch directly to the American people, claiming he's their best ally, the protector of their constitution. There have been times throughout American history where what is right is not the same as what is legal. Sometimes to do the right thing, you have to break a law. I may have lost my ability to travel, but I've gained the ability to go to sleep at night and to put my head on the pillow and feel comfortable that I've done the right thing, even when it was the hard thing. And I'm comfortable with that. U.S. officials say he took out of the NSA over a million documents, the greatest secrets in the American armory. But Snowden says those claims are vastly exaggerated. If after a year, they can't show a single individual who's been harmed in any way by this reporting. Is it really so grave? Is it really so serious? And can we really trust those claims without scrutinizing them? But despite that, the sound and fury in official Washington has barely abated. Edward Snowden is a traitor to our country. Edward Snowden is a coward. He is a traitor. But across America, a mapping of social media revealed that Snowden had proved persuasive. Before the interview, NBC polls showed that 53% of those voting on Twitter judged Snowden to be a traitor. 47% saw him as a patriot. But after the interview, there was a big swing. 41% called Snowden a traitor. But the majority, 59%, now described him as a patriot. And during the broadcast, tweets praising him outnumbered those condemning him by nearly two to one. But such public support will not bring Snowden home. No official here is talking of an amnesty, meaning the 30-year-old analyst may need to learn Russian and get used to his strange exile. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington.